Hi, I'm Lisa from Australian travel and migration blog dreamingofdanander.com and today I'll be showing you 25 types of Australian animals. I live in Sydney but I've also travelled almost the whole coastline of Australia, mostly in a tent, so I've seen all kinds of weird and wonderful wildlife, from spiders with spikes to cute little quackers. If you'd like to read my blog post on this I'll leave the link below. It contains links to all the best Australian wildlife sanctuaries, sea life centres and snorkelling and diving experiences. Here's 25 types of Australian wildlife. I'll start with the marsupials. So Australia has over 200 types of marsupial. Marsupials are a group of mammals that give birth prematurely. The newborn animal carries on developing outside of the mother's body, usually inside a pouch. The most well-known marsupial in Australia has got to be the kangaroo. And there are so many of these, you're almost guaranteed to see one as long as you leave the cities in Australia. Kangaroos are the largest marsupial in the world and the largest type is the red kangaroo which can grow up to 2 metres high and weigh up to 90 kilograms. Some kangaroos can hop 8 metres at a time and reach a speed of 60 kilometres per hour. They can also swim and use their forepaws to drown predators. The wallaby is very similar looking to a kangaroo but they're much smaller and they're quite cute as well. They usually only weigh up to about 20 kilograms and reach a maximum of a metre in height. They've got shorter legs than a kangaroo and they're built for moving across forest floors or rocks rather than across open plains. Koalas are another type of well-known marsupial in Australia. They're not actually bears. They live up eucalyptus trees rather than on the ground and since eucalyptus leaves are toxic, which is what they eat, koalas have very little energy and they sleep between 18 to 22 hours per day. Quokkas are a small type of wallaby that have short hind legs and they live off plants, grass and leaves. They can also dig holes to find water. They're a very cute native animal in Australia. If you go to Perth, you should take a day trip to Rottnest Island because there's absolutely loads there. Wombats are a large, chunky type of marsupial. They dig out tunnel and chamber burrows with their claws. Like koalas, they're not that easy to spot in Australia unless you visit a zoo or a wildlife sanctuary. Possums are nocturnal marsupials that live in trees. There's quite a lot of different types of possum in Australia, but the brush tail possum is quite easy to spot in urban areas. Moving on to sea life, Australia has a huge amount of marine life and it's really popular to go on scuba diving or snorkeling trips in Australia. Here are some of the larger marine animals that you might see in Australia. Little penguins are the smallest type of penguin in the world. They're only around 33 centimetres tall and weigh about a kilogram. They usually live along the southern coastline of Australia, which is the cooler part. You can also find them in New Zealand. If you want a guaranteed sighting, you can go to Phillip Island, which is near Melbourne, and buy a ticket for the penguin show that's on every evening. Sharks are a well-known marine animal in Australia. There's over 170 different species of shark that live around the coastline of Australia. Some of them are dangerous, some of them aren't, like the grey nurse shark, which is usually quite placid. You can go on shark diving experiences in aquariums in Australia or in cages in the ocean. Australia has its own type of sea lion, the Australian sea lion. These live across the more southern parts of the Australian coastline as well as off some of the islands on the south and west of Australia. Popular sites to spot Australian sea lions are Kangaroo Island, which is near Adelaide, and Baird Bay in South Australia. I went on a family run swimming with sea lions and dolphin experience there. We called the Baird Bay Ocean Eco Experience. Really good. I was surprised to find that dolphins are really a common sight in Australia. So the first time I saw them was when I was in Perth and they were just swimming along the Swan River right by the city. I've also seen them in Sydney in the ocean and Byron Bay and quite a lot of spots along the coastline. The bird life in Australia is very different to the UK. They've got a lot of big birds, very colourful birds, very noisy birds. Here are some of the types of Australian birds that you can expect to see here. Australia has over 50 species of parrot. They're very colourful, very beautiful. You will almost definitely see at least a lorikeet when you're in Australia. Cockatoos are also a type of parrot that are common in Australia, so you'll see a lot of sulphur crested cockatoos, which are the white ones. They're very, very noisy and quite common in suburban areas. The Carnaby's black cockatoo is harder to spot. These are endangered, but you can still see them sometimes when you're outside of the cities. The kookaburra is the largest member of the kingfisher family. These grow up to 18 inches in length. They're native to the eucalyptus forests in eastern Australia, but you can see them across suburban areas as well. They're known for the laughing sound they make. They're particularly noisy around sunrise and sunset. They can be quite cheeky. I had one trying to steal my sandwich once. The ibis is a big white bird. They tend to rummage around bins. They've been nicknamed bin chickens or tip turkeys. 
Australia is also a home to emus, which is one of the largest birds in the world. They can grow between 1.6 meters and 1.9 meters high. They can't fly. And once the female has laid her eggs, she leaves the male to incubate them and care for them once they're hatched. The cassowary is slightly shorter than an emu, but can weigh up to 76 kilograms. So these are the heaviest bird in Australia. It's a type of ratite bird, and it's got dense black feathers that allow the bird to camouflage itself in the rainforest. They tend to live around swamps and rainforests and mangrove areas. They're generally timid, but they have been known to attack humans. Their claws are up to 12 centimetres long. One of the more feared types of animals in Australia are the reptiles. Australia has around 14% of the world's reptile population. Here are a few types that you might see. Australia has freshwater crocodiles and saltwater or estuarine crocodiles. They're more prevalent in the hotter northern parts of Australia like Queensland and the Northern Territory. You definitely won't see one walking down the street in Sydney. Lizards are very common in Australia. Sometimes you'll spot the larger, more unusual types like goannas. Also the blue tongue lizards are quite common in Western Australia. I saw a lot of those around Perth. You see a lot of water dragons in Sydney as well and along the eastern parts of Australia. So it's well known that Australia has snakes and quite a lot of them are poisonous. I haven't seen as many as you would expect considering I've traveled almost the whole coastline of Australia, but I did see a lot when I was in Tasmania. Sometimes on one walk, I would see about four snakes. They also have tiger snakes there, which are very venomous. Australia is also well known for its insects, mostly for having poisonous insects, but they've also got some really, really strange looking and beautiful insects as well. Here's a few. Jewel bugs are very unusual looking. I just happened to walk past a tree in an urban area in Sydney once and they were all over it and they're really, really bright coloured. Very, very pretty. I've also seen quite a few centipedes in Australia. This picture is one that used to just hang out in the toilet block at a campsite I stayed at on my Perth to Adelaide road trip. Australia has giant grasshoppers that can grow up to nine centimetres long. This is a picture of one that was just hanging out on my car roof at a campsite. There are over 10,000 different species of caterpillars in Australia. I've seen quite a lot of them on hikes in national parks. The hairy ones are quite common. If you move to Australia and bring your dog with you, you really need to learn about paralysis ticks. This is a deadly species of tick on the east coast of Australia. They tend to be very active in the summer in Sydney and their saliva can be fatal to dogs, so they really need to have preventative treatment if you're living over here. Bull ants are something that I saw quite a lot when I was traveling the Nullarbor in Australia. They can grow up to four centimeters long. They grab hold of you with the jaw and then sting you with the bum. And the sting really, really hurts. The last type of wildlife in Australia that I'm going to cover is the spider. So you get lots of different types of spiders. Yes, some are venomous. I think the weirdest one that I've ever seen is the Christmas spider. I went on a walk near Perth. I stayed in Yalgarup National Park. And there are absolutely hundreds of these weird, small, spiky little spiders. Also the huntsman spider is common in Sydney, which is really scary looking. It doesn't kill you, but it's very big and very hairy. And I've had to get rid of some from the house. The golden orb weaving spider is also another common one in Sydney. It's harmless, but they weave these absolutely giant webs. So if you're ever walking along the street near trees and you look up, you might see them. Thanks for watching. Let me know your favourite types of Australian animals in the comments and please like and subscribe for more videos on life in Australia.